Welcome to Q&A Software. In this video, I will show you on how to enter new employee record. First, go to Setup, Employee, Employee again. Click on Add. In the Basic tab, you can upload your employee photo here. You can let system auto-generate for employee code. Key in the employee name. In the profile tab, enter all the relevant personal details of the employee. Please take note over here the email, department, branch, leaf group, and leaf calendar are mandatory to set for eLeaf function. You can watch our other videos for setting up department, branch, leaf group, and calendar. Continue to enter the other details. Once completed all the profile details, please click on Save. Next, in the Payroll Info tab, you need to enter the employee statutory details here. Please make sure all the details here are correctly set, or else it can cause wrong computation for tax, EPF, SOXO, and EIS. So first in the text here, you need to take whether the employee is self-disabled, spouse disabled, spouse is working. The bond by employer here is to set whether the employee tax amount will be bond by employer. There are three salary types you can set, monthly, daily or hourly. Also the pay frequency for this employee either once a month or twice a month. The system will auto-generate tax category. You can double-check is it correctly generated. Enter the basic salary according to salary type. Next, key in the employee tax number and tax branch. If this employee is the business owner for the company, you can take on this and so tax exempt allowance, requisite, gift, benefits are not applicable for this employee. In the payment method, here you can set the method by cash, check, or bank. If you set the method is bank, you can key in the employee bank's account number, BNM code, and crediting bank for generate payment file while bank auto pay later. In the EPF, key in the employee EPF number, select the default EPF group, and take default pay EPF so that system will calculate EPF for this employee. If the employer pay extra EPF for this uh, employer portion, you can key in here also. Besides that, here you can also set the employee to follow a different EPF group for a specific period. Example, you can add for period from April to December 2020, the EPF group to be statutory 7%. 
Then click OK to save this additional EPF setting. In the SOXO, click on Pay SOXO and Pay EIS and select the SOXO category based on the employee age so that system will calculate SOXO and EIS for the employee. In the Overtime Claim setting, the system has default normal working days and normal working hours based on overtime settings in the company profile. At the below, you can set the rate of pay if the employee OT calculate without a wage limit. If you need the system to calculate based on wage limit in the overtime setting, select Wages Limit. If the employee is not entitled for OT, select Not Applicable. In the Spouse tab, you can enter the employee's spouse details for reference purpose. In the Children tab, the system will calculate child relief point by a tax code for each child. Example, I want to add a child above 18 years and studying full-time in diploma in Malaysia. I will click on Add, key in the child name and birth date. Click on the 2D beside tax code. And I will know that the tax code is TDC03 for this child. So I will select TDC03. And I will set eligible rate to 100% as understand his spouse doesn't claim for the same child. You can continue to add other child if there is any. Lastly, you can click save to save this new employee record. Thank you for watching.